Okay, so it's the first meal of our two-week shopping trip, and we are having some homemade pizza, and the kids are having veggies and homemade ranch, um, and we are doing salads um, with the whole wheat pizza. Lots of fresh veggies. Oh, and also, we picked these up at an event this weekend for um, dessert. Okay, it is Monday. And lunch today um, for the kids is like a snacky, hodgepodgey lunch. Um, they have pineapple, uh, blue corn chips, some trail mix, which is also kind of like their dessert there. Hey Cheese stick and avocado, and then they all have smoothies. Okay, thanks, buddy. And in those smoothies hey are spinach, carrots, chia seeds, um, some kefir, um, orange juice, frozen strawberries and a banana so but according to them it is just a strawberry banana smoothie and they all have that um, and then I have a salad with the same smoothie I've got spring mix avocado blue cheese sunflower seeds pepper carrots um, oh I need to throw some tomatoes on there and then I have the same smoothie. So that is our Monday lunch. Okay, dinner tonight is nachos um, and grapes because the kids don't use veggies on top of their nachos. And these are blue corn chips. There's some um, ground beef in there and I just put in some uh, different spices to season it. And they've got some shredded cheese, some black beans, and then the grapes. And it is this kid's birthday. Hey, happy birthday. No. No. Growing up is tough. Um, anyway, he loves him some Mexican food when we go out to dinner. So this is his birthday dinner. And I will show you the grown-ups. Nachos are a little bit more loaded down. And the adult nachos are just a little bit tastier in my opinion. Okay, we are two days out from Thanksgiving and I have a lot to get done. So we've got an easy lunch today. We have cheese and crackers and some chopped up veggies and they'll probably have a juice box for a little bit of sweetness. I've got the same exact salad that I showed yesterday except I threw in some cucumbers. Come eat. Tonight is Monday's leftovers. Okay, lunch today is um it's today's the day after thanksgiving and i i know that after tonight we're going to be having thanksgiving leftovers for a long time so their lunch today is um this is organic popcorn from aldi some grapes they love the baby bell cheese and just some lunch meat and then um one little white chocolate peppermint pretzel um as their little dessert You got it on your chopstick? <laughs> <laughs> he stabbed it. You guys are doing great. <laughs> Good, Jay. All right, it's Monday and we're getting back in the routine of school week. Today I have the same exact salad I show every day. Um, the kids, these are enormous plates, so don't think that I'm like not feeding them. The portion sizes just look tiny on these plates. Um, they have organic popcorn, an organic whole milk yogurt with um, different toppings to mix in. Those are pecans, coconut, and raisins. They have Granny Smith apples. They may dip in the yogurt um, or just eat by themselves. Red bell peppers and a cheese stick. Um, Everything is from Aldi. I think I've said that before, but no, yep, that's what's for lunch today. Tonight's Yay. dinner is a family favorite. Oh, no, it is, uh oh, it is um, Philly cheese steaks okay. with um, roast beef. When I do Philly cheese steaks, I just saute some garlic and do some red onion. Then I throw in all different the red, um, green, and yellow bell peppers. Um, saute that around for a little bit in some olive oil and throw in some really thin shaving um, deli roast beef. Put it on um, some bread that has already been spread with butter and pepper 
and I put that in the oven until the cheese melts, put some provolone cheese on top, let the cheese melt, and that's it. And so the kids have some peppers and onions, and my kids do love bell peppers, um, so they've got that in there. We do chips with it, which makes it fun for them. They've got some chocolate milk, and I have the same thing minus the chips because it makes me really sick. The white bread and the cheese don't make me sick, but the chips make me really sick. So I, unfortunately, am missing out on the fun of that. But this is a fun night and a family favorite and an easy night because my husband's working late at UPS for a season. Okay, dinner tonight is simple. It is just a meatloaf, mini meatloaves, um, baked potatoes, peas, and um, we live real close to a um, orange grove and whenever we have their orange juice, we drink it like morning, noon, and night because it is so good. So they're having orange juice with their dinner and they had it with their breakfast and probably had some with their lunch, I don't remember. Um, and then uh, same thing for me. And my husband it will probably not be home till like 10, so he'll have the same thing, just reheated. Okay, it's Thursday. Oh, no, it's not. It's Wednesday. That totally stinks. Okay, darn it. I thought it was Thursday. Well, it's Wednesday, and so the kids' lunch today, I think I've mentioned before, um, when we start to come to the end of a two-week grocery trip, the fresh ingredients are either gone or just not um, fresh any longer. Um, so they have some frozen organic strawberries and blueberries, um, some like turkey meat, trail mix and organic popcorn, some organic whole milk yogurt, and they probably just mix those in. That's what a couple of them do. My son, my, my four-year-old, likes everything to be separate. <laughs> and then I have not mixed this up yet, but I would just show you what I do for lunch um, when I do a smoothie. This is some organic spinach, organic blueberries, and strawberries, some unpasteurized orange juice from our local grove. This is some kefir milk, which I use instead of taking probiotics. And then um, there's, let me see if I can get this. You can see the chia seeds on top. Um, is there anything else in there? I think that's all I have in there today. Um, anyway, and then I eat that with a quarter cup, like just a handful of sunflower seeds and so between the chia seeds and the kefir milk and the sunflower seeds on their own it's like 17 grams of protein so it is even though it just seems like um well it's a, a large amount of um fruit and stuff in there but even though there's no meat really or dairy other than that there's a lot of protein it's like a, a full lunch and it takes me all day to drink I'll put this in two cups and put one in the um, freezer and then pull it out and drink it later in the afternoon. So it kind of gets me through the whole day. So that's what's for lunch today. Okay, dinner tonight is a repeat. We have Philly cheesesteaks, some frozen organic corn, the chips that they pick when we have sandwich night, and um, raisins. And I'm having Philly cheesesteak and, uh, I don't know, maybe some corn, but yeah. That's it. We usually do like um, Monday, Tuesday, cook something, and then do repeats Wednesday, Thursday. So that's about how this worked out for us this week. Right. All right, today's lunch. Uh, it is Thursday today, and we are grocery shopping tomorrow. So um, I just let them, I said, do you want peanut butter and honey sandwich, or do you want cheese and crackers? And one chose cheese and crackers, one, two chose peanut butter and honey. They all have apples, strawberries, blueberries, milk, and then I am having... Just a turkey sandwich with some blue corn chips and salsa and apples. All right, Thursday, dance night, art day, busy day around here. Repeat dinner from Tuesday, meatloaf, um, baked potatoes, peas, and some organic animal crackers as a dessert. And same for me. And now I'm actually heating up my husband's because he's coming home um, and using some of his lunch break to eat dinner with us. So... That is dinner.